In the spring of 1943, the tide of war had turned against the Nazis. In North Africa, General Erwin Rommel's Africa Corps were trapped and defeat was inevitable. British Prime Minister Winston Churchill ordered several sub-hunter squadrons flying obsolete Hudson bombers to the Mediterranean. One of the brave young pilots Churchill sent into harm's way was Daryl Doc Seaman. Daryl Kenneth Seaman was born April 28, 1922 in Rolo, Saskatchewan, population 500. The second of Byron and Letha May Seaman's four children, his sister Dorothy was the oldest and his younger brothers were Don and BJ. In early 1941, Doc and several friends went to enlist in the Canadian Army's South Saskatchewan Regiment. A sharp-eyed recruiting officer noticed Doc had excellent marks in science and math and convinced him to join the Royal Canadian Air Force instead. Doc faced the enemy flying a Hudson bomber, which had a four-man crew. Tom McGlade approached Doc to crew up with him. Not only was McGlade an excellent navigator, he became Doc's best friend. They would be inseparable from that time on. Two British air gunners, Thorne and Fletcher, joined the Canadians to complete the crew. Seaman was posted to Algeria and was soon living in a tent in the scorching desert sun. Conditions were miserable. March 29, 1943, Doc was sent to attack a damaged U-boat off the coast of Italy. He dove to attack. Suddenly, an ME-210 came at him with guns ablazing. McGlade screamed, Fletcher's been hit! But he was killed instantly. Then Doc was hit. Luckily, the Hudson had sustained only minor damage. Doc had two machine gun bullets in his left calf and thigh. McGlade and Thorne applied first aid and then tied Seaman's left foot to the rudder pedal. Doc stoically recalled that while painful, he could manage as long as he didn't lose too much blood. They had no other recourse. He was the only pilot on board. Two painful hours later, Doc somehow managed to safely land the Hudson. Five weeks later, he and McGlade were back flying ops. Doc and Tom flew 82 combat ops together. On September 23, 1944, Doc and McGlade returned to England, and for them, the war was over. In 1945, Doc joined his brothers at the University of Saskatchewan, and soon all three had graduated with degrees in engineering. The brothers migrated to Calgary and established Bow Valley Industries in 1962. Under Doc's leadership, it became a multi-billion dollar international oil company. Community-minded, he was active in the Calgary Stampede and in 1980 helped bring the Flames to Calgary. One of his proudest moments was when the Flames won the Stanley Cup in 1989. He never forgot his time in the Air Force or his beloved air crew. Their pictures are on the mural mosaic at the military museums in Calgary. Doc contributed generously to the museum's Air Force gallery. Doc passed away in 2009. He knew he was lucky to have survived the war. He once said, I was given the chance to do something, and so many others were not. I thought, I must do something with my life. Flying Officer Daryl Doc Seaman was truly a monumental Canadian.